Okay, in today's video, I'm going to answer question 2.3 from DBE, from paper 1, from May, June 2022. Okay, the question is on reproduction in vertebrate life sciences grade 12 exam question. Okay, this is the question, question 2.3. Okay, you only have one question on reproduction in vertebrate. Okay, and the total is 7 marks. Okay, let's answer the question. So we are going to answer question 2.3. The question is describe how the developing embryo is protected and nourished in ovoviviparous organism. So to answer this question, make sure you talk about protection and nourishment. Okay. You make sure you touch these two points, protection and nourishment. Okay. We are going to talk about nourishment and protection. Because you can see the question says, describe how the developing embryo is protected and nourished. The developing embryo, which is inside the amniotic egg, receives necessary nutrients from the egg yolk and from the albumen. When talking about the nourishment of the developing embryo, you have to remember these two words, the egg yolk and the albumen. These are the two words that have to come to your mind. Okay, when you talk about the nourishment of the developing embryo, so you have the egg yolk and the albumen. The egg yolk is the yellow part of the egg which serves as the food supply for the developing embryo and the albumen is the white part of the egg which serves as the water supply of the developing embryo. Okay, now let's talk about the protection. Okay. So you are going to describe the protection of ovoviviparous organism, okay? Because you are describing the protection of ovoviviparous organism, you have to know that the amniotic egg is kept inside the female's body to protect the embryo from predators, okay? So make sure you touch this point, okay? Make sure you touch this point because you are describing the protection of ovoviviparous organism, okay? The amniotic egg is kept inside the female's body to protect the embryo from predators, okay? This is some sort of protection, okay? And the other part which is involved in the protection of the developing embryo is the allantois, which protect the developing embryo by removing waste product from the embryo and assist with the exchange of gases. And also the developing embryo is protected from shocks and changes in temperature by the chorion, amnion, amniotic fluid and the shell. Okay, so this is how you can answer this question. Okay, and we are done with question 2.3 from May, June 2022 on reproduction in vertebrate life sciences. Okay, until next time, I will talk to you soon.